All right, all right, all right, everyone. My name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to Starbath. Previously, we made some upgrades with Titanium, and we went out to the ceremonial hunting caverns to retrieve the florid artifact. We even made ourselves a friend in the room. Now today, I actually plan to get myself a mech and explore space, the vacuums of space. But before that, I want to address a few things. Um, now, I did a little bit of off-camera work. So I did a little bit of off-camera work, just a little bit, and, well, I kind of added a few things, like I, um, I put the, uh, the Predator, the Predator clothes on state on, um, on stage, not on stage, what am I trying to say here? I put the, uh, Predator clothes on display, and I even made myself a big fridge, which you can craft at the industrial workbench over here. Uh, now I come to the um, industrial workbench. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. One more thing. I now I did a little bit of exploration again off camera work, and I did find this right here on the planet below. So let me just go ahead and put that in here. Now, anyways, I come over to the fridge because I look back at some of my videos and I realized that remember how a few episodes ago I was talking about the kitchen counter, which is just over there. Well, I never really got to get a deeper look into it with you guys, and you might also may be wondering about some of the foods that I've been eating every now and then, or you might be seeing every now and then, such as, such as, such as some of, such as some of, um, oh, they're not here, are they? Sorry. Such as, like, like this bonbon bonbons, or this shepherd's pie, or this snow cone. Well, that's all made on the kitchen counter. And so I want to showcase just a little bit of that today, so you understand where, heck, all these foods are coming from. So you notice, okay, so you may have noticed, going back to my inventory, I actually went back to the two-stop teller shop just to buy some of these foods so I could make, well, much better foods. So let's take a look at what we can make. Okay, so we can make this mushroom quiche. So every time you bake a meal that's new, you actually get this, you actually get these pop-up messages. This meal has been added to your cooking collection and you may, and if possible, you may even learn some other dishes. Okay, again, let's look at this omelet. Omelet adds a cooking collection. Or porridge. Porridge has a cooking collection. Look at all this. Learn to craft carrot soup. Learn to craft rice pudding. Let's see what else can we make. What else is possible? I can make cheese. Actually, just just buying milk. I noticed just buying milk, you can learn how to craft cheese. So we don't need to go to the two-stop teller shop just to buy cheese. And milk, I'm pretty sure you can farm that. I just haven't really gotten into that. Mushroom rice. Let's go ahead and make some mushroom rice. Sweet meat. Let's go ahead and make some sweet meat. Let's see what else can you make. Bonbons, cake. Ooh, cake. That looks good. Let's make some cake. Ooh. Learn to craft chocolate cake, coffee cake, carrot cake. Chocolate cake. Let's make some chocolate cake. How about that? Again, it has a cooking collection. Every new recipe you make will be added to a cooking collection. Let's see what else. And I think that's really all about it. So, you can actually view all these, all these recipes in your collections bar specifically your cooking bar so everything you make will appear right here so i made meat dumplings and meat soup before you just saw me make mushroom quiche you just saw me make an omelet i made probably risotto a while ago i've had a few of those over the last episode and you get the, so you got kind of get the idea of exactly all these foods that i've been making and i don't really particularly need to put any of this all right i don't need to be carrying this at the moment so let's just go ahead and put all these meals in let's see here mushroom quiche Omelet, porridge, mushroom rice, sweet meat, cake, uh, and then again, you can just continue crafting all sorts of things. Um, I'm, I have to find a place to put these. I'll probably store, probably end up storing the milk away. Yeah, definitely sort of milk away, the bacon away. I'm not sure what to do about those apples. I'll figure out something. But yeah, at, at, but you kind of get the idea here. You, you you understand where all these foods are coming from. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see. What can I make anything with apples? I know I can. If not, I'll probably just eat them. Like normal food.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I'll probably just go ahead and eat those apples as they are. But also important about these foods is that they don't they don't just give you a well-fed buff. They also give you some sort of other buff, like you might get an energy buff or a jump height buff or even a health buff. So all that's pretty good. Um, anyways, I just, uh, you just hear you're probably tired of hearing me rambling on about food. Anyways, let's just go on to the Tucson Tele Shop and get ourselves, or hopefully get ourselves, what's wrong with a mech. Now. On to the mech. So, you probably remember, where is it? Test drive. You probably remember I got this mission from, what is his name? Dr. Agagi. A while ago, like several episodes ago. So, here's this. Here's the mission just to remind you guys. So, that was all about getting a mech. And he told me, when you're ready, come visit him. So, here we are. Are you ready for me to deploy you to my mech, mech test course? I built it in an abandoned freighter assembly park. Alright, let's do it. Whoa. You are now suspended in a zero-gravity environment. The mech you are piloting is designed to travel through space. I would strongly advise that you... Sorry, what was that mission? I would strongly advise that you do not attempt to exit the vehicle for now. So... What exactly do I do? Oops. Okay, so this is how I can... Oh, oh whoa, 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 whoa! Down, 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 down. Down, up, 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 down. Oh, I can't go over there. Okay, never mind. Oh, that's how I shoot things. Anything else of importance out here? I'm not sure. Okay, that's the edge of the arena. Okay, um, can I interact with these boxes? Oh, okay, I strongly don't advise- okay, get, get back inside, okay, we don't need to- we don't need to worry about those right now. Probably not, at least. Get some boxes. Can I- can I actually try to get out? Okay, no, I probably can't. Probably shouldn't be able to. These targets can be destroyed with your next primary weapon. Our probability matrix is clear that destroying them may allow you to progress. Okay, so I destroyed that one. There's another one. Anything else? Oh, here's one in here. Uh, I got, oh, aim, aim. Ah. Gotcha. Is that it? Anything else? Did I miss anything? I feel like that wasn't enough. Okay. Your mech switches to a ground movement configuration when in an environment with gravity. I would advise you continue to proceed in your mech. Okay, here's a few targets. Okay, here's another target up here. Oh, let's go in. Can't destroy that. Please be aware of your mech's energy reserves. Visualize as a blue bar you can see above the vehicle. Your mech's energy will deplete over time, or when the vehicle takes damage. Okay, now we're back. Can't really do anything with that. Okay. Here's another gravity environment. Switch to zero gravity environment. Hostile entities also exist in zero gravity environments. My cosmonautical records indicate that defeating may result in obtaining energy battery, which you're back in the Okay. Did I get anything? Maybe I didn't see it in time. Maybe I didn't really see it and I got it. Okay. What else is there? Okay. We get another gravity environment. Whoa. Okay, got a battery there. Battery. Okay, enter that door. This mech is too large to continue through this area. Press E to enter and exit the mech. I advise that you proceed on foot. Alright, let's do that. 
Lord, you appear to have completed Dr. Agaghi's test course. I must declare that I'm furious as to how such a large ship came to be abandoned. Other records present no confusion. Let me sit down for a minute. Ooh. Anything important? Oh. Anything else around here? Okay. Oh. USCM, huh? Of course it'll be abandoned. Cool. Alright. Back to the outpost. Let's head back over to Dr. Aggie. Oh wow, look at all this Amazon to crack. You made it back. That's not that's not surprise in my voice. It's elation. As a reward, I could give you enough spare mech components for you to deploy your own mech for space travel. Head over to that mech assembly station to customize it. Okay. So, okay. Wow, lot of stuff. Venture mech. Neck body, you can use this. To, you can use tongue snippers. So this is our very first basic mech boosters. Okay, let's see what else. Basic mech legs. Oh, we can make all this easily. Let's do it. Basic mech legs. Drill neck arm. Flak cannon neck arm. Wow. Look at all this goodness. And in here. Okay, it looks like. Oh, oh, there we go. That is our mech, everyone. Color. We can color it. All these different colors you can use. I kind of like this. I kind of like this blue shade. Hmm. Almost like this green, like this green camo paint. Huh? It looks cool. Else I can do with it. I like I like that other color better. Oh, I just it. Yeah, I always like that. It's like that really steel looking color. That's cool. Ready to deploy. Cool. Alright. You got a new mission, I see. I'm working on a shiny new mech weapon, but I need some help gathering some pieces. If you go into space and find me five salvage interface chips and ten salvage power couplings, I think that'll be enough to finish it. So, uh. Huh? I'm not entirely sure how this works. Let me check the mission again. If you could go into space and find me five salvage interface chips and ten salvage power couplings, I think that'll, that'll be enough to finish it. Just go into space? Like, go into space anywhere? No, let, me, let me look that up. Look it up. I, I, don't know. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Let's see here. I'm sorry, I can't deploy. deploy oh, chicken. Chicken's not coming for me. Okay, I can't just go and deploy. Wait. Okay, he says deploy back into current current orbited world. So let me go and track this. Parts of click. Oh no, <laughs> I've already I've already had it clicked. Okay, uh, I guess. Hmm. So we're over this planet. I guess go out there. I guess. Okay, I can't. Okay, so we're out in just 
Space. Can I deploy mech? Yes. So let's see here. I... Do I just... Hmm. Is this auto fire? Okay, it is auto fire. Okay, something's up. Something. My scanner picked a few. Oh, jeez. Wow. Hostiles. Okay, I got some power. I'm looking for chips. Okay, see some more enemies. I'm not really receding a whole lot here. Power, power cell, power cell, control power cell. Okay, there's something over here. Looks like a big rock. A lot of hostiles. Wow, that's a big box over there. That's a pretty good enemy. They're slow moving, which is nice. They're 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 neutral, they're, they're passive are still active. Oh wow. They're, like, living mines. Holy cow. Oh. oh. I'm shooting projectiles out there. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Uh... Alright. Yeah, I got killed out there. What do I need again? Finally, 10... 10 5 salvage interface chips and 10 salvage power couplings. Maybe this isn't the right place to do it, but that's basically what space combat looks. And... Okay, let's see here. Get, get out of the way, cat! I can't... I can't use it. Maybe... Oof. Can you just go out into space? I don't know what he means by that. Do I need to go out and again? Maybe that maybe that greed error was was telling me something. Uh, let's let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. Yeah, maybe this green arrow is telling me something. Oh, he got the thing. I'm dying, I'm dying. Leave up. Try it again! Oh boy, this might take me a while. If I get any closer to my destination, I'll let you guys know. So, I'll be right back, I guess. Okay, I'm noticing something here. Um, these guys, from what it looks like, they drop armor plating. There. Battery. Savage. Sorry, power couple. I need that. I think I need that. Let me check. Yes, I need that. Okay, so this. So we are in the right place. I just gotta keep fighting enemies. I guess. I'm not sure what I'm looking for here because there are a lot of them out here. I'm not sure what this. I'm still. I'm still following this big green arrow. Whoa. Okay. These guys are giving 
giving me help here. I see something. I saw the face chip. I feel like that's important. What am I, what am I, what, what is this? Fuck, I found something. Wow, there is like everywhere. Okay, more energy. Okay. Now, I also noticed I'm mine. I guess not. Is this where I need to be? I'm not sure what any of this means. Oh, I can't oh, find this class. What does this mean? Like, can I mine this? Scrap pan. Can I mine this? Can I... Hole pan. I don't, know, I don't know what that is. What, what is that? Can I mine this? Junk tech. So I could mine all of this. That's really draining my energy. I can't mind any of that. Oh, okay, okay, I think I get it now. I think I get it. Let me go back here. Press. I am not sure what that did, but it did something. I, I disabled something. I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on here. I guess at this point I'll just keep looking around. I'm not sure what that did. What did that do? Besides, where are all the enemies? I, I, I was at one point completely uh, surrounded by enemies. Oh, okay, there's one. I ran it. Hmm. This is really interesting. Several hostiles. Okay, I got something. I'm not sure, but I definitely know this is what we need. Find me five... Find me five salvaged interface chips and ten salvaged power couples. I'm not sure. I guess... At this point, I'll just... I guess I'll just continue doing that until I get everything? Let me check my inventory. Hold on a second. Why are these... Are they there for good?
Okay, I got I know I got all that. Okay, salvage interface chips, salvage power couplings. Other than that, I'm not really sure. Alright, like I said, I'm gonna continue gathering all those materials and then I'll be right back. Huh. Apparently I found it I did find something interesting. What is this place? There's a lot of, there's a lot of pop tops, a lot of... What does that do? Hello? Hmm? Hi there, pal. I'm just a little pop top farmer. I can listen to whistling all day. In fact, I do. Um, okay. I mean, I am pretty I am pretty close to finding all my parts, though. I think I some copper wire. I got eight of these. I know I need five. I still have four. I need six more of those. What, what, what is this place? It's a pop-top farm. Let's try a looking shipping crate. I've seen these inside ships and stations. Oh, huh. Look, I found these. Okay, I got an eight and five more. Four more. Okay, I need four more of these power couplings. Farming tools. Earth farming is already out of here. They're not gonna attack me, are they? No, apparently not. Oh, good. Alright, anyways, back into the back. I guess at this point I'll just see what else I can find. Alright, I found another thing that's pretty interesting here. And by the way, I'm finding all these interesting things because I just keep going between um, um, new different anomal ano oh, anom anomalies. Sorry, man, I'm saying. Got a lot of salvage interface chips and salvage honor plates. I just need two more power couplings. That's all. That's literally all there is. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm still not sure what that does, though. I'm still really confused on what they can do, but I should be done any minute. No. Dang. I guess I have to explore every nook and cranny of this place to get what I want. Maybe I have some more enemies. Who knows? I keep finding these anomalies, but I just don't understand what they are. Now, last one we saw, the pop top farm, that was weird. That was cool, though, but it was weird. Well, let's be honest. It's all cool, but it's all weird. And oh, yep, yep. oh perfect! Hit. Okay, that's one. Okay, come on. All right, I just need one more. All I need is one more. Can we do it? Okay, I got some more enemies up top. Okay. See any more enemies? There's gotta be more around here. I haven't finished it. There's more this, oh, this asteroid here. Who knows what's out there? Three hostiles down. They gotta be surrounded. That's not what I want to salvage. Actually, I don't need that. Money. And voila! Haha, -ha, we got them all. All right. So at this point, I don't see anything else that's interesting. Let me see this guy. Come on, this guy's hard to hit. Oh, good more. 
Oh, that's how this guy's doing. Okay, that's good. Nice. 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 Aha! Woo! Man, that was a good shot right there. Actually, we're doing pretty well. We're doing fairly well. Did I miss anything over here? Alright, at this point, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna maybe fight off some more enemies, and I'll meet you guys back on the two-stop teleshop. Alright, we're back. Quest complete. These parts are enough for me to finish my new missile rack, missile rack on. As a token of my appreciation, I've sent a copy of the blueprint to the next part crafting table. You can go make your own. Right. Holy cat, that requires stainless steel. Alright, there's no way we're gonna make those. That'll be a later time. Okay, here's my question. Not, I, do I have to carry these things with me the whole time? That's what I'm doing. Probably do. I'll probably just keep those in there. Horn. I'm not sure how to make a horn. Weapon distributor of mine needs a shipment for me, but I've been but I've been busy fixing up my new experimental shot copper mech. Naturally, I'll need a built budding warrior to test it against. Catch my drift. Speak to me when you're geared up and ready, and we go to my weapon testing site. Sure, let's do it. Are you ready for me to send you to my arms testing site to fight my shot cocker MK1? You want to have very good equipment for this. Ah, eh, well... I guess I can give it a try. I don't know what the heck I'm going to be expecting. What kind of machine again? I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be expecting out here. Oh, wait a second. Huh. Oh, I have to defeat it just as myself. Okay, I can't go over there. But I can gain enough energy. Okay, that's where I get snowflakes. I didn't quite understand that part. Hmm. To get very good equipment for this. Honestly, though, how bad can it be? Hmm, I can never see. I'm gonna craft nuts and bolts. What do you think about you? Oh, so sorry. I mean, I've, I've, I've fought tough bosses. Oh. Oh no, I killed a snowman! Is there anything else out here? Hold up. Okay, I can't go any further than that. Alright, so go below ground then. Well, this is not, a, not the planet for me, but, but at least this is the exception. All right, so remember all that food we got. Let's have some, or not. That'll do. Oh jeez.
guess I'll just keep this up for a minute. Oh, he's got flamethrowers too? Holy cow. How long to keep this up? Oh. Point. I'm just going to continue to fight here and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, I guess that didn't work after all. Huh. Huh. Yeah, no one... Uh, uh, yeah, his warning. His warning. Yeah, that definitely... I should have taken that just a little bit more seriously. But, I guess at this point here... Actually, hold on a second. I did a little- I, I took- I did a little bit of digging about, um, the, become, becoming the Peacekeeper. You do need a mech to reach this guy. So that's- so actually... Now, I was planning to fly- find clues to look at a Hylto artifact, but actually, you know what? Next time, we'll probably consider becoming a peacekeeper before we go on to this. I mean, this is pretty interesting. I mean, you know, just getting yourselves a mech. It's pretty darn good mech. Well, at least for beginners. And actually, over time, I pretty got pretty good used to it. And it'll definitely help me out as I can just explore all these different space, space places, space stations, I can say, or hostile or friendly spaceships. And of course, begin my to become a peacekeeper, which, I remind you, is part of the 1.4 Bounty Hunter update. So this is all very exciting stuff, very new stuff. But, anyways, I think that's really all the time we have for today. Now, I think I'm probably going to do this from now on, and that would be that I'm going to do off-camera work just for, just for, like, quests, you know, side quests. So from now on, I'll be doing that off-camera. Um, and of course, I'll catch up to you guys when we begin when we begin later episodes and maybe other things like furnishing and stuff that can be all that'll now forever be done as um as uh as off camera work but the rest of this stuff the adventure all the cool stuff you see here you're gonna see all that well anyways thank you all for watching this if you like this video drop a like down below it lets me know how i'm doing and if you like my content you want to see more of it why not hit that subscribe button? It'll help out me, and it'll help out you. So once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll see you around.